What's up guys, my name is Ivan Valdovinos and on this channel I provide tips, tricks, advice and strategies for your graduate school applications. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. In today's bonus video, I am going to read one of my subscribers' statement of purposes for the Harvard Graduate School of Education. This student is applying for a human development master's program and so I'm going to provide her with some tips and tricks on how to improve her statement of purpose that way she's ready to submit next week. Let's get right into the video. My long-term career goal is to become an educator and a social entrepreneur to promote education equality in developing countries and make sustainable and systematic improvements in education. Specifically, my passion is to advocate the importance of social emotional learning in rural areas where children lack resources for their social emotional development due to various factors. I pursued my calling in education through funding Glee Town Education, to, through founding Glee Town Education, an organization with mission to promote children developmental friendly environment in rural areas for nurturing holistic next generations. So in the opening paragraph, it's pretty good. Um, some of the suggestions that I made was that she should delete long term and just state my career goal because my career goal makes it more um, a more confident student and a more confident goal. I also s suggested that she elaborate on what does she mean by educator. Does um, this term is too broad and so I want her to go deeper. So what does this mean? Is that do you want to become a teacher, a higher education professional, a curriculum writer, educational consultant? Do you want to work in the ed tech field? What, it, what does educator mean to you and what do you want to become? I did like that she mentioned social entrepreneur, so I like that because that's very specific to what she wants to be and what she wants to do. In this paragraph, I also want her to expand on developing countries. What does this mean? There's a lot of countries out there and there's a lot of developing countries. So I want her to be more niched, more um, specific. So does she want to target a certain country, um, maybe her home country? Um, right now we don't know where that is and so later on we do learn about it but I want her to mention that right off the bat. I also want her to, you know, take out her last sentence here and instead I want her to add that as her transition sentence for the next paragraph um, and you'll see why in a little bit but I want her to end the introductory paragraph with something about HGSC so that's gonna end graduate school that's gonna help her um, introductory paragraph you know be more focused to the school she's applying to and so let's move on by collaborating with local governments and schools Glee, Glean Town hosts free summer winter camps for rural students and designed SEL curriculum and activities and an ignored portion in education curriculum in China for promoting human development. In the summer of 2016, I met my fourth grade student Yu Hand Lu. Before we started the camp, his teacher reminded us Yu Hand might need extra attention because of his abnormal behaviors and poor academic ability. However, as we spent more time with Yu Hand, I found his unusual behaviors were caused by a vicious cycle. Due to his parents, due to his father's abusive behaviors and domestic violence, he became hypersensitive, vulnerable, and unable to control his emotions appropriately. Thus, he always resolved conflicts with others in an aggressive way, and his classmates deliberate, deliberate, deliberately alienated him. He was not willing to pay attention to coursework since the school life seemed unappealing and miserable to him. His poor academic performance and interpersonal relations made his teacher label him as a bad student, which further de deteriorated his relationship with other students. After learning about his situation, besides patiently listening to his thoughts and provided him with after-school tutoring, my class partner and I kindly encouraged him to speak out and appropriately show his friendliness to his peers. I created a course on school bullying to promote a healthy school environment that makes every student feel safe. Despite lecturing, that course was also incorporated with some in-class activities to show the importance of being empathetic and respectful to others. We were grat gratified to see Yu Hen's changes. He learned to better control his behaviors, actively help others, and engage more in class. He even gave us his favorite cartoon book as his way to th say thank you. After that course, students learned to put themselves in others' shoes when dealing with conflicts and embrace others' uniqueness. 
So in this paragraph, the first thing that I want to mention is that is it is definitely too long. The student takes way too long to explain um, the purpose of the curriculum she developed. And so I want her to condense this and make it more uh, concise and get to the point. Um, I also want her to elaborate a little bit more on what was the curriculum. How did that curriculum you know change the student's behavior because right now it's she the student is you know saying it instead of um, telling me instead of showing me and so I want her to show me exactly how this curriculum what in this curriculum helped change the student's behavior and make him a better student and a better person and so I want her to incorporate that into this paragraph as well uh, let's move on Yuhen was not the only child I met who needed psychological and su social support it's nothing more than patient and mutual understanding, but it does not happen in many cases. These experiences made me think more in depth about how to provide a timely support to children and what really matters for children's development. It is irresponsible for an educator to define a child by his or her superficial behaviors without considering ecological factors such as parents, peers, school environment, and cultural norms that have influenced them. So I like this transition paragraph. But I do want to mention, um, I always like to think of it as like a so what, so why is this important? She briefly touches on why it's important, but I want her to go more deeper. I want her to end the paragraph with a statement that ties the experiences with her purpose for going to graduate school. So she can mention something like, therefore, I am committed to developing culturally sensitive curriculum. So because of this experience, what does she want to accomplish in the future in her graduate education? So I want her to, her, I want her to end this paragraph by stating something like that, like, um, what is she going to do? You know, she, she identified a challenge. But what is she going to do with that challenge? Is this going to happen in graduate school? Is this going to happen after graduate school? What? How is she going to um, change this challenge to make it a positive um, support for students? So maybe I would encourage her to, to combine these last two paragraphs and add that touch at the end. All right. Throughout my work at Gleantown, I became more determined to promote SEL in rural areas because stories of local students and families reminded me of my childhood. I also grew up in a rural village in China and was raised by my uncle's family due to family issues. The intense arguments and frequent physical fights in my uncle's household caused my strong sense of insecurity, irritable temper, and low self-acceptance. My frequent fights with boys marked me as a as an atypical girl with bad character and lacking self-control from my teacher's perspectives. But in fact, I am involved in conflicts because they mocked me as an orphan and behaved in an extremely offensive way. However, no one realized my radical behaviors back then were my ways to seek attention and help. In Chinese culture, especially in rural areas, people are used to categorizing students based on their ex uh, academic performance while neglecting other essential characters. Even though I cannot change the whole education system, I am eager to make efforts so that no more children would have to go through the same experience as I, Yuhen, and other students had. Educators should help children to explore their potentials by facilitating their growth, encouraging them, and supporting them to become the best of themselves. So in this next paragraph, I think that it needs to be condensed. Um, one thing that I would want her to do is to speak about her experiences more at the beginning of the SOP. So I would probably move it to after the first introductory paragraph and combine that experience with the experience that she had in her work with, with you and um, let's see what else did I put here on my notes. Uh, so I give her an example of how she could do that. So uh, maybe I would start off this paragraph by saying, I founded Glee Town out of a need of uh, out of an wait. Let me start over. I founded Glee Town out of a need for SEL curriculum in rural communities in China. I attended rural schools in blank China where I experienced this. So that's how I would formulate it. So the student, um, so the reader is able to make the connections between her personal experiences, how she ended up finding Glean Town, and um, and, th and make that connection stronger. And then her need to go to graduate school to uh, maybe improve this um, nonprofit. Let's move on. 
However, after knowing more students' cases combined with in-class learning on development psychology, sociology of education, etc., I realized cultivating optimal and sustainable children-friendly environments would not be accomplished solely by supporting children. Children develop along with relationships around them and acquire information from a mix of ecological factors, including the caregivers, educators, and so on. My teens and I at Gleantown then took actions to improve our curriculum designs for bringing impact. Through conversations with parents, I understood the concerns better. For example, their stressful work lead to insufficient patience and, and energy to deal with children after work. Their, their childhood experiences hindered their effective communication and quality companion with their children. Besides hosting camps through research and self-educating, I designed parenting workshops on topics like, like expressing love and caring, spending quality family time, listening and communicating effectively with children. During conversations with teachers, they elaborated the dilemmas of intense workloads and, support, and supporting children. Due to the limited bu school budgets, some teachers would have to be responsible for both teaching and administrative work, even though they are aware of the importance of children's psychological health. They don't know how to intervene and support scientifically. We then started to build online courses so that children have access to materials independently. We transformed our courses into downloadable toolkits so teachers could easily blend into the, their existing curriculums. These experiences made me rethink how we as an NGO can bring systematic changes from multiple perspectives. So um, in this next paragraph, I really liked it. I think that she starts to get into her niche. You know, no one else is going to be talking about Glean Town or some or some type of nonprofit that they founded besides the students. So this gives a unique perspective to the student, and it gives them a unique niche to um, who they are and how what they want to accomplish in graduate school. My only suggestion here would be to instead of saying besides hosting camps through research and self-educating, I would put my experiences with these families led me to design and develop. Because as it stands now, um, I don't like the term self-educating in itself. You know, you have these experiences already. You want to be confident. Right now, you're not sounding confident in what you're saying. So you want to change your wording to sound confident and sound like you know what you, you're doing and that you're somewhat of an expert, but still need to refine those skills. So I want you to change that to that statement. Um, let's move on. Although Glean Town has scaled to over 180 volunteers, seven partner schools, and over 1,800 students, we are still far from bringing scalable and impactful influences. I encountered many practical challenges when trying to design programs that can both interest children and engage different stakeholders. For example, how to design attractive programs for parents to participate while also interesting to students, how to provide personalized learnings for children, student, for different students, etc. To accomplish Glean Town's mission and my long-term goal, I shall further, further improve my professional ability in education. Harvard Graduate School of Education is an ideal place for me to learn and thrive. So um, in this next short paragraph here, I think you need to rewrite your questions here and put them into statements. Um, it's going to make it a more powerful piece if you identify these challenges in a statement format versus the question format. I would also like you to describe how HGSC resources will help you address these, these challenges. You might want to include a concluding sentence here describing how you're going to be able to address these or maybe later on in your SOP you can talk about how specifically you're going to address these problems. I also, uh, okay, next paragraph. In 2017, I was invited by a friend from HGSC to share Gleanstown's journey in advocating education equality. After the workshop, they invited me to join the Harvard China Education S Symposium. That year, I started visiting Longfellow Hall every week to assist in hosting workshops, together with other HGSCers. We hosted the yearly symposium for over 300 students. As I learned more about HGSC, I'm drawn to the human development and education program at the Harvard community and the Harvard community. So a couple of notes here. I want you to define invited to what? Like I don't get like I at the end I do see a workshop, but what were you initially invited to do? And who was this friend? So I would mention something, I would mention the friend's name first of all, and then maybe put like an HGSC alum, and then you want to 
talk about what they invited you to pre um where they invited you to because right now i don't know where is this like a harvard sponsored workshop that you went to is this was this a class presentation was this a um small group of students like what was this invite i don't i don't get what you were invited to you also want to discuss what was the type of um, what type of workshops you said you hosted a bunch of workshops but what were the workshops on where they just focused on this harvard china Ed education Sym symposium what was this workshop and then finally i um i want you to change a little bit so i want you to add uh let's see where was it at I want you to add and interacted with, with HGSC students and faculty. I knew that HGSC was the ideal place for me to develop as an in educational researcher and social entrepreneur in order to transfer the lives of rural students in China and beyond. So I want you to add that statement to um, here, to this paragraph here. I also thought that this last paragraph, I mean this last sentence here um, was just thrown in there. Throughout the piece, I kind of forgot that you wanted to be a, um, in the Masters of Human Development and, educa and, and Education program. So I want you to weave more pieces about human development and education into your piece. Mention those words throughout the SOP because I forgot at the beginning and now you reminded me. So that's a good thing, but I want that to come across more at the beginning as well. Let's move on. I believe the learning experiences at Harvard can equip me with the cross-disciplinary knowledge and the necessary skills to become an educator who can strategically deal with uncertainties and combat challenges in my long-term career. The HDE program will allow me to explore the diverse influence of ecological factors on children's development. I am thrilled to learn from distinguished professors at HGSC. Specifically, I am looking forward to taking Dr. Richard Weisenberg's class, Making Care making caring matter or making caring common to understand how to better cultivate children's pro-social behavior and sense of social responsibility. I also want to take Dr. Fernando Reimer's course, Educational Innovations and Social Entrepreneurship in Comparative Perspectives to learn how to scale Glee Town. So a couple of minor notes here. So I want you to use the, um, the previous concluding sentence as your introductory sentence for this paragraph. I also want you to reword becoming an educator because that is too vague. This little sentence here is too vague. You want to um, reword to make more specific. You also want to avoid using acronyms um, like HDE, especially because as at the at the um, the previous sentence you didn't put a parenthesis here saying HDE. Um, I would also mention a professor who conducts research on ecological factors of education because that's what you've been talking about throughout your piece and you don't mention um, that here or how you're going to be able to address that through these courses. Uh, I also want you to delete up here and just put scale Glee Town. Um, let's see. And then you, I want you to end this paragraph by saying you know, to learn how to scale Glee Town to make a greater impact on the lives of rural children in China and beyond. That's gonna help it tie back into your mission and vision of who you wanna um, change education for. Let's move on. Additionally, I am interested in further learning with Dr. Marshall Gans. In summer 2019, I joined, I joined Seed Fellowship in Thailand and learned parts of his leadership organization organizing an action from the Kennedy School. I want to continue my learning more in leading changes, building consistent constituency and organizing leadership and transforming resources into power to bring social changes. So I would suggest that you just take out this paragraph. It's not adding nothing to your statement of purpose um, and it doesn't really relate to what you've spoken about in the past. Besides academic resources, Harvard's entrepreneurial spirit differentiates differenti itself from other schools. I would love to join the HGSC Innovations and Ventures in Education and participate in the X Media Lab for scaling Glee Town to become a sustainable and impactful organization through continuously transforming knowledge into practice. The opportunity to join the social innovation competition also excites me. So this is a great paragraph here, but I would like you to move it up and to where you talk about more about Glee Town, and so I want to make well, I want you to make that connection by adding this paragraph to that other paragraph, and I also want you to remove um, the word. Let me see. 
words like believe. Oh wait, let's make a paragraph. All right, let's move on to the last paragraph. I believe HGSC is an excellent place to push my limits, both as a student to enrich my knowledge and as an NGO founder to make more significant impacts. With my interdisciplinary and cross-cultural education background and work experiences from both the business and the public sectors, it would also be my pleasure to provide different perspectives to the class cohorts and encounter sparks of ideas. Upon completing the HG HDE, I would love to continue promoting SEL and lo at local levels to students, families, and schools from the perspective of human development. I'm thrilled to begin my journey as a future change maker in, in education from HGSC. So in this last paragraph, um, I think you need to make a better connection as to why HDE fits with your goals. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I forgot that you were applying to HDE, so that's a concern. So you want to make sure that you address this par um, this program throughout your SOP. Um, your SOP is very entrepreneurial and business-centered, which does not align with the HDE. So I would add bits of human development throughout the SOP, like I mentioned before.